to the fourth episode of uh, Azure Machine Learning uh, 101. In this session, I'm going to talk about uh, compute and virtual machine that we have uh, to run our machine, uh, Azure Machine Learning workspace training and then deployment there. So if you are in your Azure Machine Learning environment on the compute, uh, you will see that we have four different computes over here. So there is always a question, uh, which one we should use and what is the difference between each of them? So that's the one that we are going to check today. So I just back to the slides that I have. So uh, there are four different ones. So compute instance, compute cluster, inference cluster, and attach compute. So uh, compute cluster is actually uh, it's a, a dip deployment and development uh, workstation to create models and actually working with the data is a, a kind of the pre-config most of the uh, libraries already installed there uh, you can create a cluster once and then you can use it multiple times uh, there is just one node that means that the uh, parallel node you couldn't have and also it uh, just can be shared with one person in your workspace uh, so you can have multiple compute instance in your computer so if i back and show you what we have so if you back here so you see that if you if, if you want to create you provide a, a kind of the you can provide a name for that one of the things that you couldn't change the location of the compute instance so it's attached to your uh, what you have uh, if you set up your azure machine learning for example in my case east us i couldn't change it so i said compute instance azure ML 101 and uh, as you can see uh, same as other you can have a CPU or for the uh, bigger processing uh, for the highest speed you can have GPU one uh, you can uh, there is some virtual machine that some of them has been uh, kind of recommended as you see it's exactly the virtual machine setup uh, and there are some recommendation over there so for example if I use uh, one of them just change that one to be see if it's okay and then if we go to the advanced option uh, you also able to schedule that one to be uh, kind of a start or not a start so you can uh, enable that one uh, through that and then you can deploy it so this is a specification of the compute instance this is really good when you have uh, just want to train your data and see that how the different modeling happen. Uh, just remember when you create compute instance, you're able to uh, uh, kind of uh, re uh, reallocate and deallocate that one. Definitely uh, make sure that you stop it or uh, if you don't need it, just uh, kind of remove it because otherwise it will cost you. Uh, the other one that is compute cluster. So let's see that what is compute cluster. So compute cluster is actually is used um, for the process of the if you want to have a on demand of a trying in the on demand process that means that if you have several process that can happen at the same time you have the privilege of having different nodes so parallel processing can happen this is good when you have hyperparameter tuning or some of the process that need to be at the same time together so here you can have single node or multiple node in compute instance we just have one one node here also you can share your compute with others so that's another difference that with a compute instance so use compute instance when you have a kind of the really com uh, complex computation and uh, it needs lots of node to be happen at the same time lots of processing at the same time so it actually help you through that if you don't have that much process I recommend to use the compute instance instead of compute cluster also compute cluster have the ability to scale down so from one from two or three nodes to the one node so it's actually help you during 
yeah so uh, just be careful about that uh, how you can actually use it if you are going to check that one also i'm going to here as you can see in the compute cluster uh, same as the other one you have g you can set it up for cpu or gpu i will talk about it a bit later and uh, after you select you're able to specify what is the minimum node what is the minimum number of the node that you can run processing and what's the maximum now and also you can provide a um, time that after a specific time it's going from for example four or three node to the lower one so that's also possible so these are the uh, kind of the difference between these two uh, the next one that we are going to talk about is inference cluster. So inference cluster, so after we do machine training and data processing, now we want to share it with others. So deployment target for predictive service that you already trained it. So this is the steps after you train. So you can deploy your to a ACI, that is Azure Container Instance, that is mainly for testing and development, or you can use it as a KS, that is for the large one. So this is the one that you already create your web service and you create a node and you want to deploy it to the other environment to use it in a real scenario. So as you can see again, if I back to the here, so it is uh, located here, as you can see, it's create a node for the AKS. So you can specify the location because this is not a uh, training. This is actually you are going to production. So you may deploy it to the different location. And uh, as we actually select the one, so I select the other one. So you can see that it can be a cluster purpose for production or for development test. So it can be different. Again, you have different nodes. That means couple of different at the same time can happen and just you can change the all of the IP address and everything regarding it uh, actually to deployment so this is the place that actually you're going for deploy your model so that's a one uh, and the last one that we have is the attached compute. So this is not existing as you remember. You have some compute in other application like uh, Databricks, like HD Insight, like Data Lake Analytics, uh, Kubernetes Services, and uh, Azure uh, Arc Enable. Uh, so these are actually look in your local computer or remote virtual machine. You already have them and you want to use it as a compute target with your Azure machine learning so uh, these are uh, something that you don't create it uh, if you're going to your uh, here to the azure machine learning attached compute you can see that when you click on the new it's going to get uh, these ones from different resources so for example for the azure data breaks you need to provide the compute name also, you need to provide the database workspace, uh, access token, and the compute uh, that I actually have here, and bring it here. So this is for this scenario that you already create some compute in other application, not inside the Azure ML. So it's not configured by Azure ML over here. So uh, we can set that uh, actually uh, two of these uh, can be used for the training and the rest. This one is for testing and this one is when you have, you want to bring a compute that you already have and reuse it over here. So uh, I hope that this provides uh, at least uh, some uh, specification about how it's used. I already uh, provide some of the other links, other blog posts that my colleagues write about them, um, about these differences into the uh, description of this video. Thanks so much for watching this.